Hello there! Welcome to Bead With Me. I'm Kay, your host from Vienna, Virginia of Stars Beads. I am busy as always and sporting new earrings here for you today. Showing off some of the things that we're going to go over uh, today as we let that notification ride. So make sure as you're signing on, make sure you give me some love, give me some heart, show me that you're watching, let me know where you're from. So if you're new to watching Bead With Me, this is a place where we like to play. So it's a surprise every day, what I'm gonna be doing, what I might be showing. Hey Doris, I don't know if you caught me yesterday, but we were showing off these awesome new filigree resin, you know, hey Christine. So I got new colors on, I made black ones yesterday, but you could see, I think you could, you could, even stack them. So if you like big earrings, these are beautiful. You can check yesterday's feed. You can still grab yours and get your get your dibs in right now. And then I'm wearing a uh, a necklace here of uh, this chain and leather that I was messing around and playing with Rolo because you know we've been doing a lot of Rolo chain, doing leather, doing things for guys. So now I thought we'd do one that can be definitely a little bit of both. So it's great for guys course if you do it in some colors because you know I did it in the color I like teal and purple okay and um, I thought I thought I'd show you the the technique because it was really really simple and I know you guys are all collecting some of that Rolo chain uh, from some of the previous uh, lives so thought I'd show you a new way to work with it okay if you have little tidbits this also works great you could do little parts and little links and stuff okay and and don't forget, I just have to show them off because I've been super excited. Look at these little abalone ones. So anything that you guys order, especially from yesterday's feed, um, if the color is gone, don't think that it's gone. I'm taking orders for everything because these were a lot of sampling. So I might have, you know, these were big. So I think, you know, I we had to, but I made them into earrings and then they sold as pairs. So, you know, if you want a black pair, definitely put your request in, okay? So let me say hellos as everyone is popping in. Okay, let me roll back. We said hello to Doris. Hey, hey, Mary Jo and Christine is out there and Barb and Deborah and Laura. Oh, hey, Laura. I'm so excited for your pendants. We're going to be getting some really awesome stone pendants coming in, you guys. Uh, that's going to be, I'm hoping maybe for the July 4th weekend. We'll see. And hey, Gina. Oh, Mary Saucy. How have you been? I would love to get you in on one of these. Um, hope things are well up there where you are um, all right so let me give you a close look at what we're gonna do today because it looks like we've got a few people hopping on and we can show off what we're making so let me get a all right so this is this is what I was after in terms of the design so I showed this one yesterday I was wearing it for for the Wednesday, I showed off one of the cool buttons. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how we get it started. Okay, we, I'm using a seven millimeter Rolo chain. Okay, so this is something we pretty much should have from some of these kits. If not, we can get some to you. So you know we have the Rolo in several different colors. Uh, this is gonna be the seven millimeter Rolo and I'm using two millimeter leather today. Okay, and the button. Okay, so I'm gonna do a gold sample, um, I'm, I'm, and I'll finish up with uh, this pink one, okay? But I'm gonna show you uh, the start on how we get going, and and then we'll weave up a bracelet. And they're always so fast, because you know what? I like quick, I like easy, because I don't have that much time, you know? I don't know about you, but I got a five-year-old running around, and we've got lots of things to be doing, and if it doesn't get made by you know, in an hour or less, it, it probably is not getting me. <laughs> so, all right, so I'm starting off with uh, two yards of leather. If you wanna make this a wrap, you can certainly do that, but I, I always like kind of starting off with, uh, with a lot, but really I would say you only need a yard and a half, okay, so you don't make it crazy, but I was making some long ones, so I ended up using about two, two and a half yards in the end, so. So we're, I chose this button, you can uh, slide it through the shank. If for some reason your button doesn't fit through there, you can also attach a jump ring here. Looks like it didn't close that. I would highly recommend a jump lock because it, um, 
it will make a difference because there's a lot of tension that happens right here so you you want to be sure that it's staying closed okay so you can just add a ring if if your leather doesn't fit and you still want to use that button okay so I've, I've slid the one side through and I'm in the middle of my leather right now okay and then if you guys if you remember yesterday's episode this is uh, gonna be starting off with that barrel sliding knot okay so I'm gonna bring one of those ends around here which I'm started off with one a little bit longer here Oops. okay so we're gonna do this barrel knot you can see maybe this in slow-mo yesterday but I'm gonna do a little fancier knot I'm gonna bring that around and I'm gonna do it loose because you know what I don't know where that silly tube is <laughs> I think I put it in my other basket okay so slipping that through sliding that up to the end here. And I wanted to do a bare knot because I wanted to have a little bit of spacing since uh, the shank is rather close. And that way then when I get to putting it on and off, it'll make it a little bit easier there at the end. Okay, so Deborah, a jump lock is a heavy duty jump ring. I tend to use them a lot in my lives here and what they are is a nice hardened jump ring. They're generally gonna be, you know, 20 gauge, 18 gauge, um, in your four, six, eight, and 10 millimeters. Uh, it's, I would say it's probably a half hard, but it's a hardened wire, thicker gauge, and they're also super flush. So um, oftentimes once they're they're closed, it's almost like they're soldered closed. So technically I could get this one even, even closer. Since we're on, we can zoom in we can see that's actually not all that big okay you can see how how fat that leather is and you know the chance of likelihood of that pulling off but if the if your jump ring is not hardened um you if you pull on this you will find that that jump ring will open up okay and that always that always sucks okay <laughs> you don't want that to happen okay so that's why i like jump locks if you're replacing your charms or anything like that they're, they're the perfect thing to use. And if you get the sterling ones, you can um, solder those closed. Okay? All right. And we carry those in silver plated, uh, gold plated, st uh, sterling, gold filled, and even rose gold. All right, so here's the start of it. Okay, we've got the button, I've got the barrel knot, okay, and I've got the start of this uh, Rolo chain here. Okay, first thing we're going to do is I'm going to start off with the first link here and I'm going to crisscross. Yeah, I love this kind of stuff here, Pam. All right, I love leather and jean. All right, so I'm doing one pass through here. So I went one, one way and now I'm going to take this going the other way. Right here, see that? So it's kind of like how we were starting... Um, when we were doing the one where we had three going across. Actually, like kind of like this when we did this, but we're only using one, okay? So we saw the crisscross here. Is this upside down? Hey, Carol, how's it going? I have your one bubble bead. I haven't heard from you. I hope everything was okay. All right, guys, so this is the technique. We've crossed through the one, okay? But now I'm gonna be taking both of my ends, and you'll see kind of if I have this ring in the center you know I can kind of be sliding I kind of essentially want one piece of leather on one side okay and I want this leather to stay on that same side the whole time so this one I'm weaving here okay and then I'm going to take the other side and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to stick it down right into here okay you see that and then I'm going to be pulling now, you won't be able to do much adjusting, so it's gonna be important that you pull through each time. Okay, so, and I'm gonna keep these threads on each side just like that. All right, so that's, that's the pattern, you guys. <laughs> We're gonna be doing it over and over. So now, you see each one that is facing up at you, so every O, Facing up, that's the one we're gonna be going into, okay? Hey Mary, how's it going up there? Glad you could catch me live today. Okay, so we went in, okay? Now I'm gonna take those same ones and I'm going to go through 
every other one, okay? So we have this one, we're gonna skip one. So we're always gonna go into the one that is kind of looking up at us, okay? So we're going to put one leather down, okay? And here's the other side, okay? And I'm, I'm gonna pull those down tight. So oh, I have a oh, long piece of leather here. And it's going to naturally set itself in place. And like I said, you will want to pull this fairly taut as you're going because you will not be able to make the adjustments later. Okay? So it'll start its formation. I did a neutral color. I was doing some fun colors before, so I thought I'd do a neutral color. And then you can see kind of the different colors of the Rolo chain. Okay? So I did one in the antique silver. did one in the, the pink here with the copper. Okay, so you see, so see what I mean when you have one on this one side and then it kind of has that gap, okay? So if you find, okay, because not all two millimeters are created equal, so if you find that this is tight for some reason, okay, I find I can push this uh, chain link over and then, and then stick it through there, okay? And pull it through. And always dealing with longer pieces of leather can be trying. What happened there? Oh, I didn't come in from the right side. I came in from the wrong side. Okay, so you can see how, how that looked all wonky, okay? So I came in from over here in, okay, instead of from over here in. And you want to keep going from the same side. That's what happens when I'm working upside down. and trying to read comments at the same time. All right, so you can see how that's coming along and that really shows off color. So here you can, you know, certainly stick to neutral color leather, okay? And we're gonna just keep going, just like this. Now you could keep going and just do a single wrap or you could certainly do a double, even triple wrap, okay? So the necklace that I wore, I'm gonna show you a little variation that I did with it, okay? All right, so see how that's coming along, you guys? Looks so cool. All right, so the beauty of TV is now I'm gonna, <laughs> we're gonna end with this pink one. Okay, so you can see we've gone, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. Okay, and now we've getting to maybe, you know, this we have a little extra length. I'm gonna kind of measure it to see what length I have here. Okay, but I have, I have like a six. Okay, so I think I was making this so that this might fit somebody because who knows, this might be a giveaway. So don't forget guys, Friday night, that's tomorrow. I'm giving these away and I'm giving this bracelet away. Okay, so keep on posting. I wanna see what you guys are creating. So I want you to post on your page and make sure you tag Stars Beads. That way then we get a chance to see it and we certainly respond, okay? All right, so we get to the end here. We're gonna do the last couple with this pink one. So you can see the combination here with the pink and the copper. We like that. Is everybody excited about Friday Night Live? I don't know if you guys saw my announcement, but it's gonna be all about color. So I was showing off a lot of those beautiful filigree components. Um, and I don't know if you guys saw in the sneak peek, uh, I just posted something else today so you can see the beautiful colored beads that will also be appearing. But I'm also gonna do a little bit of, I think I'll do pearls, I think I'll do check class. So I'm gonna do, be doing things all about color. What do you guys think about that? Does that sound good? Anything else I could throw in there for fun. I wanted it to be a little bit of a surprise, but you know, I want you to know there's gonna be uh, all kinds of different things. If it has color, I wanna probably show it. All right, so I'm just going right here down to the end here, okay? Because the ending is easy peasy. Oh, we like that. It looks like people are excited. <laughs> all right, let's see. 
I think you're on the last one here on this one. Did I? I didn't mess up, did I? That looks right, right? Yep. All right, so I've got one more weave here, and then I'm going to be on this last link. And then I'm going to show you how to finish this baby off and we'll be done. You can never go wrong with color. You can see I like to do a lot of things with color. Okay, now we're here at the end. Okay, this is where you could certainly do your barrel knot here. Okay, and I will do one just for good measure. Okay, but you could certainly also do a simple overhand knot. I guess I could have uh, grabbed the tube. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm just doing a, kind of a single. Did you like those, you like those colorful beads? I hope you're able to join us tomorrow. I hated to give them all away. It's gonna be fun. I always have fun on uh, bead with me. Oop, I don't think I grabbed that one section. Oh, got it. Okay, slide that up to where I want it. Okay, and we're just tying that off. Get it tightened up. Oh, I guess I should have done one more loop. But you can end. You can end with simple knot there, or you can just end with. Either way, we want to make sure that the button fits. Okay, I'm just showing both knots here, so you could do the sliding knot there and get it all tightened so there's no movement. And then I'm making sure that there's enough room for that button so I know that I pretty much want this knot right here. Or you can do the sewn pull overhand knot. If you, if you guys look in the stories, uh, there's some designs made with those new colorful beads Mary, you can check it out. All right, so easy peasy. So we've got ourselves a pink one. Okay, got ourselves a teal one. And you, so you can see all the different colors, how they end up looking. Isn't that pretty cool, you guys? Pretty, pretty, another way to use leather and chain. And that one, I will show you also, I did one on my necklace because you can do the whole design smaller. Okay, so I also did it with the five, I think it's like 5.2 millimeter. Hey, Nita, haven't seen you in a little while. Um, so I also did it, I'll show this up close, um, so you can see the variation. So certainly you could do this long enough for you know a necklace. This actually would make a really cool um, cording, you know, so instead of like maybe you're not a big Kuma Hemo person or something like that, you know, you could certainly make this and then put a nice um, pendant on it, okay? Actually look good as a belt, uh, a dog collar, uh, I don't know, whatever you guys wanna make it. Okay, <laughs> but I have done it in a smaller, so if you want to do like a wrap bracelet, I'm going to show this one off. I kind of did it in a copper uh, color tone, but you can see that I left some stuff that was open. Okay, so let's take a look and we can dissect this one real quick. Um, but this one I did probably about, I don't even know, to be honest, I think maybe two feet, one and a half feet. Yeah, I did uh, like a foot and a half, but you'll see I started off with the button here. Um, if you are going to do the, uh, the smaller size Rolo, then I used a 1.5, but I'll be honest that it was tight using that. Okay. So maybe you could do a one millimeter. I was kind of on the fence that like, if I wanted more color, I could use like two one millimeters on this instead of, um, a two millimeter. Okay. Just give it some variation. But this one, I uh, chose to do kind of a little wrap and did a 1.5 uh, millimeter with kind of a natural color tone with the copper. And uh, I made it so that it also had a little bit of openness. So when I did that, so you can kind of see is when I came down here, I crisscrossed 
just like we did at the very beginning right here on that first one I crisscrossed okay so when I got to here so that way that these kind of came out and and let it uh, make that kind of flow okay and then I you know just kept an open section and then I crossed again and then got started with that weave again okay you need a spool of chain well we can talk about that Pam because you know it's gonna be hard you might want like a bunch of some of all the colors so we certainly have that um, for you okay <laughs> and I think when we did the uh, stone and chain um, chain and leather or bubble beads with the chain um, I went over the different colors but you know it comes in this uh, matte gold it comes in antique silver bright silver antique copper antique brass um, those are a lot of the colors that it comes in but we can talk about that Pam okay because it looks like you're gonna need some roller chain okay so then I did another section of this open and then uh, did a tail end and wrapped it up okay so that's what I was wearing on the neck today and you can see I was doing colorful earrings so I still have these pink ones available you guys and like I said, I'm taking orders too. So if you um, saw anything on these bead with me's, let me know because I'm still working on, you know, learning how to get this stuff all to you since I'm not an online bead store. So I appreciate all your support, all your love. Um, you guys are all so awesome. And I appreciate you guys coming on with me every day whenever I decide to uh, come on. So I know that those live uh, notifications are on for you guys. So one more day. So don't forget. You need to be posting because I want to be seeing some designs. You still have your chance to win. Bracelet, rainbow earrings, okay? Um, those are going to be up for grabs and, you know, and then you'll find out what's also going to be given away for this, uh, for this next week. And, you know, I always like to have some little surprises too. So don't forget, Friday Night Live, well, one, I get to see you twice tomorrow. So we'll do one more quick bead with me, playing probably with some of these beads. And then, um, and then Friday Night Live, okay, is Sip and Shop, 8 p.m., okay? So make sure you've taken your naps. Bed your people, bed your animals, and be ready to hang out and see some color, okay? Have a great day, you guys. Have a good one.